And we're back again. If this is your first time seeing one of my videos, my name is Jesus V, fitness coach and creator. And today we're gonna to be breaking down one of my favorite back exercises, the bent over row. Without wasting any time, let's get right into it. In this video, I'm gonna be giving you step-by-step -step instruction, tips to execute the bent over row with proficiency, and most importantly, letting you know the common mistakes that people make so you could avoid injuries. Let's go! All right, we're gonna start off our bent over rows by gripping our weights. In this case, we're using dumbbells, light weight, only about 17.5 pounds. Feet should be shoulder width apart. We're gonna bend our knees, bringing your torso forward slightly. Then we're gonna go into a hip hinge, bringing your chest almost parallel to the floor. Your back should remain neutral, a straight back and no bends in your lumbar spine and this is gonna be your starting position. You're gonna lift the dumbbell up towards your sternum, keeping your elbows tucked and close to the body. Once you bring up the weight, we're going to pause and hold at the top, squeezing your back muscles, engaging your lats, traps, and rhomboids, and then slowly lowering the dumbbells back to the starting position. And then you will repeat for 12 to 15 repetitions. All right, now that I've given you the step-by-step -step instructions on how to execute the bent over roll, let's go over some tips to make sure that you execute this exercise proficiently. Tip number one, you wanna make sure that as you're doing the bent over roll, you're bringing your hips back. This is gonna help you keep that neutral spine that we were talking about and make sure there's no bend in your lower back. All right, tip number two is going to be actually pulling your elbows behind you versus pulling the weight up is gonna help you keep that neutral spine and also engage your lats and other muscles in your back, including your traps and your rhomboids. And finally, tip number three, is going to be pausing at the top and squeezing your shoulder blades together. This is gonna to be a great tip for not only sculpting your back, but also helping with posture. So when you sit in the chair, you don't have that lower back pain that a lot of people get. Now that we've gone over some of the great tips for the bent over row, let's go into the benefits. Some of the most important benefits of the bent over row are gonna be the strength that you build in your back, but also this exercise will allow you to build muscle mass in your back. The prime movers or the most important muscles that are being targeted during this exercise are your latimus dorsi, your rhomboids, and your traps. And most importantly, this exercise, if done correctly, will help with your posture, it'll help you avoid injuries, help you avoid back aches, and most important, allow you to move freely because nearly 80% of all US adults suffered or suffer from some type of muscular skeletal degeneration due to low back pain and back injuries. So if you wanna build an all around strong developed back, then the bent over row is a great exercise for you to include in your regimen. For more science, back, exercise tutorials, and fitness content, please consider subscribing and let us know what you think in the comments. I hope you enjoyed the video, and until next time, as always, f*** your insecurities. Peace! <clears throat> and we're back again. This is... Alright, so now that I've given you the step-by-step... -step Shut up! <laughs> Damn these bloopers. All right, so now that I've given you the step-by-step -step instructions on how to execute the bent over... Uh, yeah. Shut up! You're not even supposed to be listening to me. All right, let's do it again. Take three. All right.